Yeah, so today NIFI supports um, essentially both a push and pull model for a lot of the really critical information. So today we can push, for example, provenance data and statistics out through our reporting tasks API. This would be uh, somebody writing code that then runs in NIFI to look at this information and then push it out to an external service, uh, Atlas, for example. Uh, there's also the pull model, which is everything that we have is exposed to this RESTful API. So an external service could uh, essentially pull NIFI to grab those statistics uh, and be uh, on their way. This is nice for people that are running uh, maybe scripts or they have some other system that is, uh, you know, it doesn't have an agent available to it, um, but it still allows it to get data, check on status, that sort of thing. Uh, as we've talked about, NIFI already supports dynamic data flow changes, which is obviously really important. Uh, and we've described how that REST API allows us to do that both for people and systems. Um, site to site is a very important uh, protocol and concept that allows uh, two NIFI clusters or two NIFI nodes or a uh, client interacting with NIFI using the site to site protocol um, to interact with NIFI using a fault tolerant uh, and uh, scalable protocol, um, but it also means that for a data flow manager connecting from one data center to another data center, for example, they don't have to like switch their mindset from what business thread they're operating on, enrichment they have just done, and now all of a sudden have to think about JMS or FTP or SFTP or some low-level protocol. Their mental model is connecting one processing thread at a data center to another processing thread at a data center. It keeps them at the right level of abstraction. Uh, we've already talked about the fact that it's extensible uh, and we've put a lot of effort and energy into optimizing the user experience, making it really easy for operators to understand precisely what's happening in the flow. We don't want people to have to go hunting through log files to figure out what happened. We want to expose that in a natural way. Data flows are graphs and we can show those graphs and allow you to interact with them.